We've been talking about it, and the countdown is really on. It's getting close to the total, total solar eclipse. And joining me today with the Lima Astronomical Society, he is the treasurer. We've got Michael Ritchie with us today, and thanks, thanks for coming. For, thank you. All right, so you guys have been working hard planning for this, and yes. uh, you got to make sure you have the proper glasses, and that's where you guys have the right kind of glasses that's, to watch this. That's one of the big things that we're stressing is the safety of your eyeballs. Mm -hmm. uh, Unless you have a pair of certified protective glasses, we do not want you to really look at the sun. How do you it's, know that you have the right kind of glasses? On the back of the glasses, they will say ISO certified and they have the certification number and some of the glasses even say they're CE certified. Okay. So any of those certifications will tell you that your glasses are fine. Uh, we, we've been selling these glasses for almost a year now and then next Saturday on the 30th at the Lima Mall is our last day of, of selling glasses at the mall. Okay, all right. So, uh, we will be there from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. So after that date then, uh, you have to get your glasses either at one of the businesses that are helping us sell the glasses, right. which is on our Facebook page. Mm -hmm. A lot of them are helping you. Or one of our events that we're having, either the Solar Smash event mm -hmm. or the... Uh, Eclipse, eclipse event. Set, right. So. And I mean, people are like, oh, I got the right kind of glasses. But you have yeah. found that there are some circulating in the community that aren't. Or I've heard buying some on Amazon is not a good idea. Yes, it's, it's not a good idea. Uh, make, just make sure those glasses are certified. One of the things about the glasses and watching the eclipse is that during the partial parts of the eclipse, before or after totality, you want to make sure that you have your glasses on. But we once we reach totality, just before 3, 11 p.m., you want to take those glasses off because you'll, you won't get to see the totality where the moon is completely in front of the sun. And so you're going to miss the most beautiful and awestruck thing of the whole eclipse. But as soon as you see that sliver of sun come back, you need to put those glasses or a protective it's a short period on. of time, so look at it. Very short, And then, yes. <laughs> then put yeah, it back the on. Totality here will last for 3 minutes and 52 seconds. Which is pretty yeah. good, really, yes. compared to other areas. Yes, okay, it so is. Okay, so make sure you have those glasses. All right. You kind of mentioned this. There's some events leading up to the eclipse and the Solar Smash Bash. That'll yes. be Saturday. Uh, we'll be participating with the uh, Lyme Allen County Chamber of Commerce on that. We'll have two tents there. We'll have information on the eclipse. We'll have telescopes there to look at the sun. Hopefully it's clear that day. Mm -hmm. uh, that event goes from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. They have lots of activities going on there. We have a, a tribute band out of Columbus. Uh, Direct Energy will be there playing. Uh, they've got photo ops uh, to get your photos. they got a kid zone, uh, vendors, food trucks, all kinds of things. All right. And you guys are going to yep. be part of that big yep. event. We'll be part of that. That's mm. exciting. All right. So then on Eclipse Day... Can you head on over to the observatory? As of this moment, we are planning to be open 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. for the eclipse. Now, there, I have to say that there are several instances or circumstances surrounding the whole event that may prevent us from actually opening up. So you need to watch our Facebook page or website or watch the media. We'll have announcements out. Okay. We'll know more about this on Thursday, but there is a possibility that we may not be able to open the observatory mm -hmm. up. Now, if you do, the good thing is if it's cloudy or whatever, you guys will have a feed, right? So we you'll be able try. to see at least uh, visually, there's hopefully. There's a problem with the internet connections and stuff, too. If oh. the internet goes down, right. then we won't be able to provide that. But we'll, we'll have uh, videotapes of past uh, eclipses and how to get ready for it. We'll have those running all day. Right, yeah, all right. So hopefully we can get over to the observatory. Yes. Enjoy it at home, at least we Enjoy know it at home. Yeah. If right. you're not going to an eclipse event, best place to do is just stay right home. At your house. All right. Well, Michael, thank you for coming today. You're Good to see thank you. Thank you. All right, don't go away. We'll take a look at the weather forecast next.